Hey guys, Fake Rooster here, and today we're going to be taking a look at yet another Battlefield trailer. Obviously, we've already talked about the reveal trailer. We made our uh, sort of comments on that a few days ago. I'll put a link somewhere so that you can click on that and have a little look at what we said in that video. Um, and today, obviously, we'll be taking a close look at the Battlefield gameplay trailer. Now, this was revealed at the E3 Microsoft and Bethesda event on Sunday, which I will say I was actually really impressed with. Loads of games for you to sink your teeth into there. But of course, my focus was that beautiful Battlefield gameplay trailer. Now, much like last time, this isn't going to be an intense breakdown of absolutely everything, but again, more of a kind of casual chat. Plenty of YouTubers have given out breakdowns over uh, the past day or so, and I'll link some of the favorites that I've seen in the description. So if you want to check some of them out, um, that would be cool. Um, but again, we're just going to have a little bit more of a, a casual kind of chat, really, about some of the things that we saw. But that being said, let's get into the trailer. Okay, so um, I was quite surprised that this came super early in the conference. I thought it might be something we'd have to wait for. Again, reiteration, this is pre-alpha, so a lot of this can change. I know there are some concerns about some of the loadouts that people have seen, but at the end of the day, they've still got a long way to go before release, still a few months out yet. Now, the first thing that I noticed, certainly about this trailer, was the parallels between this and the Battlefield 4 uh, reveal trailer, which, again, he started in a helicopter coming in. Um, we're seeing the sort of teasings of vehicle gameplay there, lock-on missiles and things like that. These helicopters we mentioned in the reveal trailer, the ones with the double rotors, look amazing. I think they look really cool. This bit was cool. Um, I'll play that bit a little bit louder in a moment, I think, because there's a moment where he's grapple hooking across, which is cool anyway, but you actually hear the rhythm of the Battlefield theme tune being fired by the guy that's on the crane. Got those VTOLs moving in. This is the first time we've seen what DICE have talked about with the sort of vehicle drop-ins, that people have tablets, they can call in vehicles. I am curious to see how that sort of works in the long run in terms of balance and things like that. Obviously, good to see lots of transport vehicles. We've seen helicopters, we've seen jeeps there. Um, so obviously there's new and creative ways of getting across the battlefield, getting straight back into the action. You've got the storm that comes in, as we saw in the reveal trailer, that massive destruction. This bit was exciting. That's the plus system there. Again, I'll maybe take a screenshot or something and pause the bit there so you can have a better look at that. Um, but the plus system was really interesting. I thought it was quite an interesting um, development for the Battlefield franchise, certainly. Um, and we'll see how that works in game again. Maybe some balance things here and there they might have to sort out, but it looked really cool. But the first uses of the grapple hook moving in with the, I think it's the vector this guy's using. Or the, I think it's called the K30 or something in this game. Immediately, you see a use for the wingsuit, so I talked a little bit about this. I think it's a really cool addition to the Battlefield franchise. I don't think it is too gimmicky. I think you can just argue that you can make the same maneuver with a parachute, but you wouldn't look as cool. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's a nice addition. It's nice to have sort of a uh, fresh energy in the Battlefield uh, franchise. You've got these great shots right at the end of the trailer as well um jets coming in some of the other maps players running around there's a riot shield in one of those shots which is interesting that that's back after we haven't seen it since four i believe the smoke effects on the rockets as well are absolutely unreal um i think it looks almost realistic <laughs> it looks crazy it'll be amazing to see that in game now, overall though really really impressed with what we saw admittedly it was a bit strange to have a reveal trailer longer than the uh, gameplay but you've got to think it this way in a few days we've had two trailers we've had about 10 minutes or so worth of gameplay to have a look at and kind of go through as i said loads of content creators have been really sinking their teeth in um we're gonna loop the trailer again i'll talk a little bit of some of the other things that i wanted to mention um so one of the things that you see teased throughout the start of the trailer and then obviously towards the end is that sandstorm rolling into the map. Now that sandstorm, as you tell a little bit later on, really changes the entire feel, the entire vibe of the whole map. It's a great way of changing up gameplay um, within a map that players will get familiar with eventually. Um, I'm very much looking forward to getting hands on and 
I think experiencing those big natural disasters, the sandstorms, the tornadoes and things firsthand um, are going to be really, really, really cool to see. Now, I am quite a big vehicle player um, and I'm, st I'm, I wouldn't say concerned. I'm curious as to see if there is a limit for the vehicles that you can call in or a limit for how many there are and things like that, because at one point in the chair, there's like five, six tanks. I guess you've got to remember it is going to be on next gen. It's going to be 64 versus 64. So I suppose that's a lot, a lot of players to go around. So it's not like five tanks are going to be killing the same sort of 10 people or something. Well, in theory, um, some of the things I've seen online mixed, mostly very positive, but some of the negatives are interesting to say the least. And again, I did mention that briefly, but you see a few people with similar loadouts. In particular, you see a lot of people with anti-vehicle rocket launchers, and I'm not sure how spammy that will be in the game or if it will be reduced when we see actual sort of finalized gameplay footage. Again, this is pre-alpha. They've still got to go through an, a beta of some kind as well where players will be able to give their feedback and, and things like that. And generally, that's going to be the opportunity to, to really fine in and home in those um, sort of specific things. So. I personally wouldn't be too concerned, but I understand where people have got that slight worry about things like that as well. We're seeing a real variety as well. If you look at every single shot, look how many people there are. It's crazy. And I mentioned that in the reveal trailer when we went over that, but that's one of the things I'm most looking forward to is just the sheer crazy number of people that we're seeing in every scene. I've been playing a lot of Battlefield 4 uh, since the reveal trailer as I've been in that sort of Battlefield mindset. I keep imagining what it must be like when you've got all those players sort of running around um, doing the things that happen in Battlefield 4 even, but to a much higher scale is going to be absolutely crazy. Um, but that's about it. That's that's mostly my sort of initial thoughts uh, about the trailer. Um, overall, I'm really, really impressed with the things that we saw in there. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward to seeing more. In theory, the next time we're going to see more is, I think it's the 22nd of July. Um, for EA Play, where they're more than likely going to show us some more uh, gameplay and some gunfights. But for now, it's really whetted the appetite. I think, if I remember rightly, just now, Battlefield 2042 is one of the highest selling games on Steam because so many people have pre-ordered it. Um, and obviously, you know, when you're pre-ordering, you've got to remember you don't know what the final product's like, but at the end of the day, you can always cancel a pre-order, I suppose. But um, it's really interesting to see that reaction from the community as so many people have rushed to pre-order the game. Um, and hopefully that means that it's going to translate into having a really healthy, vast community when the game launches so that we're all going to be able to enjoy that together. And that's what I'm looking forward to, is that community regrouping over a new strong Battlefield release after the kind of shakiness that we had in Battlefield 5. Um, but that's about it for me today. Um, if you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Subscribe for more. And I will say I appreciate all of your support. It's been amazing, um, especially since I've started posting more Battlefield things. As time goes on, that's the direction. I've said it before, but that's the direction this channel is certainly going to go. So you're going to see a lot of content hopefully out of 2042 but thanks very much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video